Hulk. Holy moly, the twin towers are cool. And tall. So, The Walk stars um, Joseph Gordon Levin, uh, Charlotte Le Bon, uh, The Twin Towers, and some other actors whose names and characters you will never remember, apart from possibly Ben Kingsley, and is directed by Robert Zemeckis. Joseph Gordon Levin plays a high wire artist, Philip Petit, who has a dream. He's got a dream, he's got a dream. No, 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 no. Wrong movie. Anyway, he has a dream. Uh, don't sing the song. To find the perfect place to hang his wire. Um, then he sees a diagram of the Twin Towers, which are not built yet, which shows that um, um, they're going to be the tallest uh, two buildings on Earth. And he develops this love affection with the towers. And so the coup, or the heist, or whatever you want to call it, begins. And um, we follow um, his journey to the towers and onto the wire. So, what did I like about this film? So this film is all about the final third, where the coup actually happens where they go into the tower, they hang the wire, and Philippe walks onto the wire. Now, the CGI, when he is walking and doing other stuff on the wire, is extraordinary. It is breathtaking cinema. It's perfectly shot, the CGI is crisp, the towers look menacing. Every time you see them, they just look menacing. Um, but... Um, Stuff happens in the film which changes your perception on the towers, which is really interesting cinema. Joseph Gordon-Levin gives uh, an exceptional performance. Um, once you get around the silly accent and the makeup, um, I also really liked uh, Charlotte Le Bon's character, Annie. Her relationship with Philippe is really interesting, and um, the way it ends is unex unexpected and heart-wrenching. If you want to talk to me about that, um, uh, comment below. Uh, I also thought that Ben Kingsley's character, uh, Papa Rudy, has a really intriguing and fascinating relationship with Philippe, which is kind of a father-son relationship, uh, while it has lots of tension, lots of intrigue, and their scenes in particular just grip you. So in general, I found this to be a really interesting movie. And as a British citizen, I thought the representation of the Americans as a group of people was very amusing. However, um, where did this film go short? Um, I felt that there were some really silly creative decisions and devices made, uh, which were just not necessary. They distracted. They were a bit corny, a bit cheesy. For example, uh, having... Um, Joseph uh, stood on top of the Statue of Liberty, uh, narrating to the towers uh, his story. I just thought it was a bit weird. I'm all for breaking the fourth wall, wall uh, and narrating a story. I think it's a really interesting creative device, uh, but I felt it could have been done more intelligently. Uh, for me, I think uh, a press uh, interview or something like that would have been really interesting. Um, I also felt a lot of the other characters were really bland. They had no arc. You could understand why they were there, but there was no arc. You didn't understand their motivations or anything like that. Um, there were two that maybe were interesting, like the one that was afraid of heights and the one that take pic uh, takes pictures. But the fact that I can't even remember their names, and I have an IMDB app on my phone, says all you need to say about these characters. Um, uh, for me, the only reason most of them were there, apart from those two that I've just said, was because history has put them there. So to conclude, um, 
the CGI is some of the best I have ever seen. Um, this is the centerpiece of the movie. Uh, George, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levin and the Towers, for me, are the stars of the movie. And it's about their relationship, which is uh, a really interesting relationship. You will hear me say interesting a lot, because that's what this movie is. It's interesting. Um, uh, there's a really cool twist at the end of the movie. Um, but a lot of the characters are just really one-sided. Um, so I am going to give this movie a 7 out of 10 rod points for technically brilliant. Um, so The Walk, have you seen it? What did you think? Comment below and let's have a discussion. Um, if you like what you uh, saw in this video uh, and you'd like to see more, uh, like this video and subscribe to view more uh, content. Um, my name is James Rod and I am signing out. James Rod out.